Chris for summing up my life for me. <laughs> what an honor it is, and I truly mean that, to be inducted into the St. Benedict and Armadale Hall of Fame. I remember when we were discussing the idea of St. Benedict and meeting with all of the various committees, uh, how we were talking about what we wanted to do, could we make it happen. And I remember meeting with the Finance Committee at one point, and they were talking about how much it would cost and what would, how could we handle all of that. And at one point, I asked them, have we reached a point where you're telling me to shut this down? They said, oh no, oh no, we just wanted to give you that. We think this is the right thing to do. Then I said, let's go with it. And that's how St. Benedict came to be. And I'm proud that that decision was made and proud of how we have moved and continue to move today. As you may know, the mission of the Catholic Diocese of Memphis in my time was to proclaim the good news liturgically and spiritually, educationally and religiously, and socially. We are committed to educate throughout the diocese with our parish elementary and jubilee schools, now charter schools, our diocesan and religious high schools, and with our university. We're committed to the schools, not because they were Catholic or not, but because we were Catholic and we were called, and that is our mission to proclaim the gospel to all people. I am still moved when in the public arena, be it the barbershop or the mall, and I meet former students who tell me the particular Catholic school where they studied and graduated, and were it not for the education they received, they would not be involved in their present career, profession, or avocation in life. That pleases me. And I'm even more pleased when they repeat to me the words that I said to them, God is good all, all the time. time and all the time. And last Thursday, I was stranded at home due to the weather and grateful that the electrical power had just been restored. And I turned on the television for updates about the weather. And there was a program on, this, on the channel it was entitled, Bluff City Life, hosted by Gina Neely. It was a pre-recorded program about the Christmas concert at San Benedict, featuring John and Gabby. She was speaking to an alumnus of San Benedict and one of the students who was involved in the program. And both spoke very well of St. Benedict and what St. Benedict did for them in their subjects and in their faith and how they were looking forward to the concert that night. And then she spoke to John and Gotti about the concert, about the mission of St. Benedict, about his faith. And that was really moving. And I said to myself, thank you, Lord. I know what I have to say in a few days. <laughs> I am thrilled that St. Benedict is still committed to his mission of educating and imparting knowledge in various fields, of educating and instilling Catholic and Christian values with his students, of educating and proclaiming the gospel and evangelizing his students by the words and examples of the teachers, staff, and community. 
I believe truly that God is still blessing St. Benedict and that we can continue to move forward. And as the students of old would say to me, I say to you, God is good. All, all the time. time. And all the time. God is good. And let this good and gracious God continue to work with you as you teach and educate our students of today. Thank you for the honor and for the privilege. Thank you.